Hi, I'm Greg the Research Physio. This video is about the Aerobica, which is a device that we may have issued you to help deal with problematic sputum. Um, it's a what's called a positive end pressure device or a PEP device that you ask to breathe through. And what that does is it helps splint open the airways so that they maintain more latency and allow the air to travel down behind any problematic sputum and then allow you to cough and bring it up. Um, so let me show you how it works. Now the one that you hear, the one that you have been sent, almost certainly has a mouthpiece with it. Mouthpiece with it. However, due to infection control reasons, we've had to take that out. So, what you want to do is lift it up, nice steady breath, and breathe out at a constant pressure and rate, keeping it within the green area of the manometer or pressure gauge for around five seconds. Now, on the front of the device is a small uh, plus or minus sign, and it actually you can click this little lever either way. And what that does is it changes the resistance of the device ever so slightly. So if you find it too easy and you're breathing out too quick, or you find it too much of a challenge, you can tinker with the pressure that you're breathing against. Now, for those five seconds that you're breathing out, what you want to feel is vibrations in the chest. And what you want to do is try and get those vibrations as low down as you can, because what that is doing is the equivalent of me or one of my colleagues just holding your chest and as you breathe out, just giving you a gentle shake. And that shearing force um, causes the secretions to be shook from the cell walls of your lung lining, and then you can cough and clear. And what you may find is that using this, uh, ideally after a nebulizer, um, just for sort of five or 10 minutes, will loosen up the secretions and then either straight away or within the next sort of 15 or 20 minutes you might want to go through the active cycle of breathing technique which is uh, one of my other videos and just help bring that phlegm to the forefront and then you'll be able to cough and clear. So that's how to use the device. To clean and maintain the device it comes apart quite easily. So if you slide the manometer off the mouthpiece if you have one and then you press these two clips, the top pops off then you have the bulk of the device in the middle, and you can see here is the, via the, the seesaw that gives the oscillations, and then the base unit. And all you need to do is pop those in a bowl of warm water with some washing up liquid, give it a rinse, let it air dry, and then um, it should be ready to go two or three hours later when you next need to use it. What we would recommend from an infection control point of view is that it's just for you, so please don't let your other half, children, grandchildren, etc. have a go on it, because obviously this is designed for you. Um, and as you can see, to put it back together, if you look from here, you can see that the base unit will only fit in one way, and it fits in quite nicely. If you try and get it the other way, it won't go. So the base unit will click in, and then the top half clips on, and then the mouthpiece and the manometer, and that's good to go. When the decision to issue you one of these devices was made by your physiotherapist, hopefully they told you how often to use it. If they haven't, what we tend to recommend is you use it every two to four hours. Um, a good rule of thumb is to use it sporadically through the day at first. So first thing in the morning when you wake up, um, and then either before breakfast or after breakfast, a shower, lunchtime, tea time, and then just before bed. And then what you will probably notice is that there are times of the day that it's most useful to you. So first thing in the morning tends to be when a lot of patients have a lot of phlegm. So whether you use it, like I say, first thing in the morning as you wake up in bed, and then again before or after breakfast, and then you might find actually you then aren't productive, you don't bring up any phlegm until much later in the evening, in which case you can negate in the day and just use it at bedtime. Um, but as I said, play around with it. Have, you know, we'd start with every two to three, two to four hours, um, and then you can kind of increase and decrease as appropriate to your condition and your lifestyle.